So, hello folks. I'm in the New Forest and um, just clocked on a few days from my last, uh, well, my last little piece to camera because since then a whole lot of stuff has arrived. All of my old Nikon gear has gone and I thought, well, it's a nice evening. There's some interesting light about and um, this might be a good opportunity to give some of this new kit a try. So... This is a bit last minute. I don't know if the light's going to stay with me, uh, but I've decided I'll pop out and let's see what we can make of a little bit of this evening light uh, with um, my new camera gear. So I'm going to do all the talk to camera on this one. This is the Sony RX100. And then in my bag, I've also got my new Sony RX10 Mark IV. And we're going to see what I can do with that in terms of some landscape shots. So I'll see you in a moment. It's a lovely evening. Um, there's some chance of the cloud breaking up over there and giving us a little bit of a sunset. It was quite a downpour not, not very long ago and so I was thinking that uh, the horizon might just be too full of cloud. But actually it's breaking up and so as long as it doesn't disappear altogether when the sun sets in about 50 minutes uh, three quarters of an hour, something like that. We might get some nice light. Now, all of this walk and talk stuff is being shot as I mentioned earlier, on the RX100 Mark V. And that, it's, in turn, has been mounted on the uh, Zion Crane Plus gimbal. And so this is my first outing with that as well. So all of my Nikon gear, um, bar one item, has now been sold and gone, and been dispatched in the post. And what I'm left with right now is primarily three pieces of gear the RX10 Mark IV, the RX100 Mark V and this here gimbal so uh, yeah a lot less stuff to carry and, uh, I've got my kind of sprinkling of filters and uh, tripods and all that kind of stuff and uh, I'll still be able to use that with this equipment so uh, so this is just a little first taste of uh, what that gear is going to be like. I've started on this uh, on the shoot, and here is the um, RX10. Uh, I've got it set up with the leaf filter system on it, uh, and a hard grad, um, a two-stop hard grad to balance the sky. Let's get right down here to balance the sky and the foreground, and um, no other filters. Um, I am rather liking, I have to say. Um, let's see if I can. Get in the right mode here and show it. Right, here we go. Um, I'm rather liking this screen on the RX10, I've got to say. Uh, it's certainly making this kind of low level composition uh, a great deal easier. Um, what I haven't got at the moment is a, um, is a remote shutter release. And uh, so, I'm at a 30th of a second at the moment and so um, potentially that's going to be an issue as I slow the shutter down even further so <laughs> I need to go into the menu system right now and find out how I can put a two second delay on the shutter release. Okay I thought I wasn't going to manage that for a moment but I have managed to sort out how to do the uh, 
two second delay shuttery, so it didn't take too long. And we do still have some light in the sky. <laughs> the sun has gone down in the meantime, so it did take me a little while to navigate it, but I will get more familiar with it. Um, I know people have said that the control menu system on these is difficult, but actually, I think it's all right. It's not too bad. I don't find it any more difficult than the, uh, than the Nikon system. Uh, take away my kind of familiarity over um, 12 years of Nikon um, menu systems, but, um, but I don't think it's going to be any more difficult to get to know than the Nikon system. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, all that uh, nice red is just fading very quickly to a nasty dark smudge. I don't think we're going to get a lot more, but there have been too many times in the past when I have just disappeared um, when the light has been like this, only to find that on my way back to the car, suddenly you look back and, and there's an amazing sky. And um, so I'm going to stick around for a little bit longer and we'll see what happens. Well, the light is definitely gone now. Um, it always looks a bit brighter on the uh, on the screen than it really is in reality. And uh, yeah, it's just going, getting a bit dark now. And uh, there's, all the color has really gone from the sky. I had a good chat with some old boy just now who kind of Spotted my gear and sauntered on over. Have a chat about um, bridge cameras and all in ones versus DSLRs and all that kind of stuff. And um, I've got to say uh, that I've been pretty impressed with the um, with the Sony. It's not been that difficult to really get on board with its menu system. And, um, and I'm liking it, you know, when I needed to find stuff that I hadn't used before on it, that wasn't too, too difficult. Um, I've been shooting in RAW and fine um, on uh, the little camera. Um, I haven't changed it from its default settings actually yet for the RX10 Mark IV. So I don't know, it might be in JPEG, it might be in RAW. Um, I'll find out when I get home. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, do like, do subscribe, all the usual stuff. And, uh, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.